Hola, ¿qué tal? Mi nombre es Sebastián de Lab Testing Group. Vamos a presentar las cuatro etapas para extraer el ADN y para obtener los resultados de un test de ADN, ya sea de cualquier tipo de relaciones familiares. Acá estamos en Lab Testing Group, en Toronto, Ontario, Canadá. Estoy junto al doctor Lin, genetista. El primer paso que es simplemente la extracción del ADN a partir de las muestras por hisopado bucal, que son las que se hacen en la mejilla, vamos a pasar a mostrar cómo se hace para extraer desde los hisopos el ADN y desde ahí pasarlas al secuenciador, a hacer la, la etapa del PCR y de ahí el secuenciador donde se hace el análisis de ADN en sí. So We got the swabs from the client. Yes. And uh, we, take, we take out the. We first we label the, our tubes corresponding to the, our client ID. Yes. And the second, we take out the swabs. And uh, for example, this is a client, uh, client sample, sample envelopes, right? We take out the swabs and uh, we snap the tips, cut the tips containing the client DNA. Perfect. From oral DNA here. Perfect. Yeah. And I add the DNA extraction buffer. All right. So this will be the DNA extraction buffer yes. and the client DNA. We do it for all the tubes. That is sample from client number two. Está easy. Just put the liquid inside the tubes yeah. with the sample from the client. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it for this one. This is for the first client. This is and for the first client. La etapa número 2, una vez que ya tenemos los algodones de los hisopos dentro de los tubitos, es terminar de separarlo y sacar el algodón justamente que contiene las muestras de ADN, tenemos que separarlo del, del líquido y que en el líquido solamente quede el ADN de las personas que vienen de las células epiteliales que están en la mucosa bucal. Entonces para hacer eso se ponen los tubitos que contienen el líquido y contienen el algodón adentro de máquinas que las van a calentar a una temperatura de 100 grados y de esa forma se va a separar bien lo que serían los materiales como la madera, que vienen en los hisopos o el plástico y el mismo algodón se va a terminar de separar de lo que sería el líquido donde va a quedar solamente el ADN y ahora vamos a ver el procedimiento Lee, Lee is going to show us how to extract the DNA and keep it just on the, on the liquid mm -hmm. so yeah go ahead and show us how to how to do it sure, sure, sure. the DNA right now is in the it is from the epithelial cell yeah. from the or from the oral or swab right it's in the DNA in the cell so we use the heat around 100 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees to break to break the cell membrane so DNA and also the cell from release the cell, DNA from the cell yes exactly it usually takes like half an hour I just put in the this is the heat plate I put the Perfect. all the tubes with the DNA extraction buffer in here, uh, we heat it for 30 minutes. For 30 minutes. For, for, for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. All the DNA. Yes, that way it's gonna release all the DNA from the from the cotton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Perfect. Una vez que pasaron los 30 minutos y que ya están los tubitos bien calientes, significa que tienen una temperatura de 100 grados que fueron calentados durante 30 minutos, se hace el último paso que es mezclarlo. Y es, we need to mix it in this machine and this, is, this machine is going to... What is going to do that machine? It's going uh, it's to... Perfect. It's perfect. So TNA is now it's ready, it's ready, it's already released. Good. It's already right ready. Right now TNA is still around the swab. Because yes. the TNA is because it's just heating without any, any agitation, right? So right now I'm going to do is the vortex, the vortex to tube. For a second, to mix the well. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. And then I'll centrifuge, bring down all the centrifuge solution. Why is it centrifuge? Because you know there's a lot of impurities, like wood chips, like hot anything. So I bring down all the impurities to the bottom. I use the clear liquid containing the DNA, pure DNA. Perfect. So, so that's what I'm going to do. It's a very simple procedure in order to get the DNA clean. And I think you still got 23,000 G. Yeah. Okay. That's really high. Perfect. Acá pasamos a la etapa de PCR o amplification. Es la amplificación del ADN. Hay que amplificarlo millones de veces para poder meterlo al secuenciador. So can you show us? Yeah. I mean, well, now the DNA is uh, in some point already extracted and ready. So we have like the DNA in the clear solution in this tube. So now what I'm going to do is to to use this DNA as a template. Okay. So template and we amplify DNA to like the millions or even billions more than this amount. So we can detect the sequence later. Wow, billions, billions of times. Yeah, it's good. yeah, that's true. That's true. It could be billions, yeah. Wow. So the PCR is really, really a real, I mean, big invention. Actually, PCR was invented in like 1985 or something like that. Mm -hmm. The inventor immediately got Nobel Prize. Wow. In the same year or second year, I can't remember, but immediately, pretty much immediately got Nobel Prize, yeah. Okay, anyway, so we use a, we use a 16 allele, the perplex system, like okay. here. So we basically put the amplification buffer, we type that amplification buffer. Dispense a buffer to the each well. Perfect. Here's our the sample DNA. Mm -hmm. And we pipe the DNA to the to the tube. Awesome. And doing this here, solution is here. Awesome. Yeah. So now it's ready for the machine. Uh, we have the vortex and the centrifuge again because we, we want to mix it really well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we use the vortex bench a lot and the centrifuge here. And this DNA will be stored frozen in the freezer for later use in case.
se va a quedar refrigerado el original por las dudas que se vuelva a necesitar para hacer una contraprueba. Entonces, para amplificar el ADN, el PCR, se colocan en esta máquina y se dejan un tiempo y está en proceso de amplificación. Es una etapa más del proceso del PCR. Para terminar la amplificación del PCR, es, eh, utilizamos esta máquina que va a terminar de amplificar billones de veces el, el ADN. So, Link, can you explain us what this is machine process? Yeah, this is uh, this is for the PCR amplification yeah. machine. Yeah. So basically, we put the samples. We already extract the samples with the extraction box with the DNA amplification box. We, we put in this small tube and then we mount it on the plate. This plate. We mount all the samples to the plate. After this, you can see here we, we use this machine to amplify DNA. So okay. Before DNA is really tiny small, and here we use a different cycle. We okay. use like 30 cycles to make the DNA like the exposed exponentially amplified. So okay. it is the feelings of the difference. Okay. So and, this one. and how long does it take this procedure? Uh, usually this procedure takes around two hours. Okay. Around two hours. Yeah. Perfect. Two hours. Yeah. After two hours, what we need to do is just to prepare the final PCR uh, product samples in order to get it ready for the machine. Yeah. So in the after PCR, we are going to do the sequencing, DNA sequencing. So we have the DNA ready. It's already in the tube. It's amplified. A lot. We have a lot of DNA here. Yeah. So basically, we use some transfer to this plate. Mm -hmm. This plate containing the formaldehyde. Lo que hace el PCR, ya tenemos todo el ADN listo, entonces para meterlo en las máquinas, que las máquinas, los secuenciadores, son estas, estas que están acá, estos bichos, es ahí donde se mete el ADN después de haberlo amplificado millones de veces, pero hay que prepararlo antes de meterlo en la máquina porque tiene que entrar en estas estructuras de plástico para que encajen perfectamente. What we need to do is just pipeline the amplified DNA. Here? Yeah. And for this plate. For sequencing. Yes, perfect. Now it's ready for the machine. Yeah. Ahora sí, vamos a meter las muestras adentro del secuenciador. So this is the time when you're gonna put it inside the machine, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is the last step for for the lab work. So it's about the sequencing. So this is our machine. It's called the ADI from ADI. Yes. Automatically started. Okay. 
And how long does it take this process? This process? Uh, usually it takes like, uh, usually it took going overnight. Okay. We do it overnight. So we just uh, leave the overnight and uh, we finish uh, doing beta analysis tomorrow, next day. Yeah. Okay, so they tardan un día. The procedure is taking one day.